What up everybody, it's your boy with the blast, aka Kev. Voice cut out. What the blast? There we go. AKA Kev is your boy. Oh, what am I doing? Not it's your boy Tom McDonald. I mess uh, this is just botched. I'm sorry. Today we're reacting to Tom McDonald Clown World. The intro's gone. There's no chances. I can't save it and I'm not gonna redo it. Cause I keep it a hundred. No second takes, baby. No edits. Unfiltered. Here we go. Uh, Tom been dropping a bunch of songs lately. Um, and yeah, he's always talking about something interesting. He always makes me think about something. He's always got some little knowledge in there. Uh, even if his appearance is pretty wild, uh, once you can look past that and listen to the words, my man drops gems. So Clown World, I got an, I got a feeling he's just going to be clowning on maybe the industry or the world. I don't know. We'll see. Let's do it. You worry about leaving a better planet for our kids. How about leaving better kids for our planet? All ready. All ready with the bars. You worried about, I mean, really, the both of them matter. What do you say? I'm already lost it. A better planet for our kids. How about leaving better kids for our planet? Worried about leaving a better planet for our kids. How about leave better kids for the planet? Whoo! I mean, both of them matter. Obviously, we need to take care of the environment and the Earth because we only have one. Uh, shout out to Elon. Get us to Mars, bro. So we got two to live on. But aside from that, we do need to take care of the kids better. I mean, there's like a ton. There's poverty. There's kids that don't eat. I think like one out of four kids go hungry. That's fucking crazy. Why? We're the, we're the greatest nation in the world, but we got one out of four kids that can't eat. That don't sound too great. Um... And then mental health, I think that needs to be priority. There's a there's a bunch of stuff he's saying. I'm not gonna get super deep into it. He's already with the bars. I'm already liking it. First bar. You worry about leaving a better planet for our kids. How about leaving better kids for our planet? Entire generation offended at everything, getting mad that a human thinks all lives matter. We don't need mm. black or white or left or right. What we need is common sense. We need balance. We're all in the same boat. Why you trying to make holes? Once again, bro, we need balance. Left or right, black or white, the whole thing. So, pretty much any song that I listen to that has anything to do with politics, I always say this, is that politics is so stigmatizing now and extreme that if you're on one side, no matter what the other side says, it's wrong. It can, you can't, like, if you lean left and anybody's on the right, you're like, that's the enemy. I can't, I can't be with them. I can't associate with that. That might be a good idea, but they came up with it, so it's not a good idea now. And then same thing, vice versa with the right. It's so it's so polarizing to even have a, a similar viewpoint as the other sides. There's no balance now. It's just like one, it's just like two, almost nations going to war or something. It's crazy. Um, I try to stay pretty level, see both sides of the thing. I do lean left a little bit, but I'm pretty open-minded. I'm down to talk to people on the right and stuff. Um, and... Or not even on the right, but anywhere else on the spectrum, you could say. Uh, and at least hear what they got to say and see if I can empathize with it or something. So, bars, still. He doing his thing. Exactly, bro. We're all on the same boat. We're all on the same earth. We got one planet, one nation. We only got one America. Well, I live in America, so it's easy for me to relate to, and so does he. Um, and it's probably what he's talking. I mean, it's what he's talking about left and right, because um, we only have two parties. Because our political system's ridiculous to only have two major parties. But whatever, that's another point. Um, bro, why are you trying to make holes in the boat? You're gonna sink with it, dude. What? Trying to make holes. Bar. We sink, we sink. This is madness. I'm offended that you're offended by me taking offense. Can't build a wall. Why is your house is wild. Two genders. I'm not mad at the rest. I'm just confused when a dude has a beard and some breasts. Felt. I am too. Um, do you hear the beat though? The wah, 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 wah. that looks like a butthole. Why'd I pause it right here? Why'd I have to do that? The beat though, crazy. This production is fire. It had a little offense. high and then went low. This is hard, bro. The flow change? Black lives matter. Ugh. All lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the 
circus clowns the world is full of clowns They're all stupid and they're proud Painted smiles on their mouths Okay, so I was way off from what I thought this was going to be about, but because that first said, I think he said he was going to clown the industry or something. Totally wrong. Not talking about the industry at all. Talking about what's going on in the world. He said, burn the circus down. What do you say? The world's full of clowns or something like that? Burn the circus down because the world is full of clowns. They're all yep. stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. Hey, that course is hard. I can't be with bozos. My feet don't fit in clown shoes. So I think that's kind of speaking on like you can't have lames in your circle. You got to kick the losers, the low energy people. They got to get out your circle. We can't be around clowns. No bozos. We keep it a hundred. And we got we got to be around people to do that too. He's killing it, bro. Beat crazy. He's had a couple flows in here. He's got bars in here. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. When I was a child, the only races that we hated were the ones that we ran and didn't win. And we mm, stopped playing with each other, started hating on each other, started noticing the color of our skin. Christians and atheists, immigrants, patriots. We love the country, but we are not saving it. Wages don't raise through the rate of inflation, and half of the country hates all of the nation. It's funny mm. that we think the world owes us something. All the phones got smart, but the people so dumb. We care more about the likes on a selfie than our moms, and the only time we ever speak the truth when we're drunk, we won't always look. He's cutting deep, bro. I don't know. That's like me sawing, maybe. I don't know what that was. It just it was a reaction that happened. Um, we care more about likes on our posts than our moms. How many times you check social media every day compared to how many times you talk to your mom or call her and see what's up? I'm guilty too, bro. I'm guilty too. That's crazy, dog. He spit. Likes on a selfie than our moms, and the only time we ever speak the truth when we're drunk, we won't always agree. No, I don't hate all police. No, your thoughts and opinions ain't facts, and they are not defining my reality. No, I think picking sides divides. It's probably what has got us here. United States is back regardless. That's what we forgot in here. Black lives matter. All lives matter. What's all this? He said, I hate picking sides that divides us. That's, what's, that's what got us here. That's what I'm talking about with the two-party system, bro. There's only two parties. you got to pick a side, and the other side's wrong regardless. We need, like, five major parties. It's crazy that we still only have two major parties. And if you're not in one of them, you basically have zero chance of doing anything or having any kind of control um, or say-so or anything. Because it's it's divide and conquer, bro. Crazy. That's what we forgot in here. Black lives matter. All lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is shutting up a civil war. Burn the hey, that jacket's hard. The, the tie-dye. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Back. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in class. They tell you be yourself and then they judge you on the internet till everybody hates you for it. If Jesus was alive, I swear to God that y'all would cancel him. Cause lately being negative is the real new normal. Yeah, mm. you're thick, you're fat, you're rich, you're bad, you're poor, you're black, you're white, you you're white. Flow you're chain, bro. Oh, hold up. So he came in a little faster, then emphasized and slowed it down at the end of the bar. Did that twice. Now he got a little flow change after that. Hard. Everybody hates you for it. If Jesus was alive, I swear to God that y'all would cancel him. Cause lately being negative is the real new normal. Yeah, the flow change. You're fat, you're rich, you're bad, you're poor, you're black, you're white, you're whack. They lie, it's facts. My Ooh. generation needs a bunch of free condoms. Cause common sense ain't that common. This is what they wanted. This is how they planned it. This is to control everyone on the planet. Then we mm. put each other in caskets, protest and panic. And they take advantage to manage the damage. We won't Ooh. always agree. No, nope. freedom doesn't come free. No, nope. there was people fighting that. He said, so he's saying that they're setting up, they're basically orchestrating, we can almost get into like conspiracy land here. He's basically saying that they're orchestrating these things, or maybe not even orchestrating them, but just by chance some of this stuff is happening. We, being so divided, basically descend into chaos, and then they come in as like the saviors and get us out of it, but as they're getting us out of it, they're... Uh, essentially establishing their power even more and taking it away from us and stuff us being us and them uh, being different possibilities of things we won't always agree no nope. freedom doesn't come free no nope. there was people fighting dying overseas mm, so that freedom you can have freedom free. and be oh, I, think the, uh... I agree and disagree 
with that. Obviously, the thing with that is freedom doesn't always come free. That's a fact. People fighting overseas, obviously that happens. But the thing is, does that really need to happen? Especially to the extent that, that we make it happen. We've been in war basically my entire life. I mean, 9-11 happened when I was 7, 8. We went to war, and I think I'm pretty sure we're still at war with Iraq or Iran or somebody, technically. And whatever happened to ISIS? I haven't heard about ISIS in like four years. Is that over? Are we done with that? Or are we still at war with them? I mean, it seems like we're the U.S. is just perpetually, we have to be invading or conquering something. Um, and it's just like, dude, like, whenever we killed Saddam, whenever that was, like, I don't know, six years in the war, seven years, why didn't it stop there? Like, we got the dude we were going for. Why are we still over there? I don't understand it. Because we're still, apparently that war still never ended. And now we also have war with ISIS, which I don't know about either at this point. We just have, I've seen a bunch of stuff about, like, how many army bases are around the world and, like, how would we feel. Could you imagine if, like, Russia had an army base in your state or something? Like, we would lose our mind. We'd be like, what the fuck is Russia trying to do? Why are they over here? Why is this happening? Or not even Russia. It could be, like, anybody. France, like, even an ally. We'd be like, whoa, why they got an army base on our turf, yet we have army bases everywhere in the entire world, basically. And then there's just so much about it. And then our military budget is bigger than the next 10 countries combined or something like that. Um, there's just so much. There's so many places you could go with that that for the most part I don't agree with I think we I'm not gonna get deep into it but I just think I think our military is insanely overinflated. I think we have a, a conquering complex or something that we need to get over um, I don't know what it is I don't know he's spitting though this is what I like see my boy makes you think people fighting dying overseas so that you get that freedom and be home are real but they ain't drinking babies blood they're Ooh. creating chaos so they have something to save you from black lives matter all I what i just say he said i think the elites are real but they're not drinking babies blood so he's like basically i'm not getting into the deep conspiracy about they're sacrificing babies and drinking their blood and stuff i do think they're real but i think they're manufacturing these uh this chaos so that they can come in and save you from it, which is literally what I just said a second ago. Gating chaos, so they Belt, have dog. something to save you from. Black lives matter, all lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, mm. cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and Yeah, this is hard. It's be alone. This is playlist just for the beat. A hey, video by his girl. Shout out Nova. I gotta check out some of her music for real. Real soon I'm gonna get into some of her stuff. I saw he said she was trending. He She just dropped an album. Um, I've had a couple requests for her music too. And I'm just super curious to hear what his girl his girl can do. Because he is definitely, uh, he's definitely a real one in the game. Um, hey, super thought provoking. Beat was hard. He had multiple flows. There's at least three different flows I remember in there. So he showed off his little his uh, rap, excuse me, rap ability a little bit. Um, definitely thought provoking. I mean, banger, all around banger. Uh, yeah. So keep doing your thing, Tom. You out here spreading the message, and I respect it. You you you're spreading the message in a, a banging way with these bangers. So. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what we should check out. See y'all every day at 3 p.m. CST for a new reaction. Peace, love, happiness, and good vibes. See y'all next time.